called the curl cob, right? So it helps us at the top of our routes, it helps us on our curls, and it helps us on our comeback, which is the top of the route breaking concepts. Um, really what we want to focus and emphasize on this drill is really the sticking aspect of it, how we break to go into a break is, is the best way to put it. So what we'll do here is this is a four cone process, okay? So you can set these codes five yards apart, ten yards apart, however you feel. I preferably like to do it about five yards apart. Okay, so my line is going to start here or here. It doesn't matter. We're going to switch back and forth, okay? Basically, my line is going to start here, okay? As I'm telling my guys to run up to the cone, okay? We're running up to the cone. We're going to perform the, the curl concept, right, which is our, our in-breaking curl. We're turning back into the quarterback, okay? So we're going to come up, and we're going to curl around the cone, okay? And then after that, we're going to, I'm, I'm preferably going to throw them a ball here, right? But they're going to finish out. They're going to catch the ball here. This is just kind of an overview of the drill as it speeds up, and then we'll break it down into the progressions of it. Okay, after they catch the ball here in the curl, they're going to catch the ball, tuck the ball, process catch and catch, eyes to the tuck, and then perform the stiff arm, which then just gets them focused on the process of receiving the ball itself. Okay, so after we do that, after we do the curl, we're going to come back down here. They're going to toss the ball back, right? And then they're going to come at the bottom of the break, and then they're going to perform a comeback. So the ball is going to be thrown from inside. So a curl is curling back to the quarterback, so if I'm inside here, they're curling back to me. If I'm in here and they're curling away from me or they're top of the cob route, which is a comeback, right, they're turning out, so they're breaking towards the sideline. So this is a drill that's a continuous drill. You can kind of get 12 to 15 guys through it in a reasonable amount of time, right, assuming that the catching goes well. If the catching doesn't go well, don't tell them, or tell them not to focus on actually catching the ball. If they catch the ball, great. That's really not what we're trying to emphasize here. What we're trying to emphasize is the top of the route on the curl and both the comeback. Okay, so as they perform this, they're going to roll through here, they're going to catch this one too, and they're going to finish outside of the drill. Okay, what's really important for this, for this drill is this aspect of the top of the route, okay? So I told you that we're, we're breaking down, right, to, we're breaking down the breakdown, okay? So how this is going to start and how this is going to finish is still going to be with the left foot as you're breaking down, okay? So as my guys start here and the ball is inside, right, the ball is in here, I'll draw a football here so it doesn't, a bad football, so it kind of, so you kind of see which way I'm coming from, right? And we're running the top of a curl, the top of a hitch, right? All of our in-breaking turning routes. Okay, so as we're running the process here, it's going to be a left foot. Left foot's going to start the break. So left foot is what kind of initiates the breaking process. So I'm going to start the break with the left. I'm going to continue the break with the right. But the final break is going to be with my left again. So it's going to go left, right, left, okay? It's really important here that they put the left foot out in front of the right when they're breaking down, that they get a full extension out over their knee, chest over the knee. Now, if you don't get this foot all the way out in front and it's kind of parallel to your right foot, you're going to end up swinging this corner really wide, right? We want to come tight to the top of the break, tight to the cone, okay? So we really want to emphasize that, right leg, that left leg being out in front. Another way you can kind of facilitate this action and this movement is to have them do a karaoke six or K six is what I like to call, okay? So they're going to be facing away from you. So if the ball's in here, they're going to be facing towards the sideline. They're going to be facing in this general direction. We all kind of know what karaoke is, right? Where we're going to run and we're going to pick up our leg and cross over, okay? What that does for them at the top of the break, this is going to be a slow deal, right? So they're going to be karaoke facing this way, facing away from you, okay? So they're going to be karaoke. What that's going to force them to do at the top of the route is going to force them to bring this left leg over the top to turn back towards the hitch, okay? So when they do that, it forces them to reach this left leg out in front of them to come back downhill. So that's just a little bit <clears throat> of the fundamentals of this drill. So if I were to take you through it again, I'd say, okay, one line, okay, we're going, we're, we're curl comeback, okay? So here we go. My guys are going to line up. They're going to be 15, these cones are going to be five yards apart. I'm going to be throwing approximately from seven to eight yards away. Just give them, a, uh, give them enough to see the ball, okay? So we're going to be going here. Okay, so here we go. We're going to up to the drill. They're going to process catch. The break is going to start with the left. It's going to go to the right, and it's going to finish with the left. At that point, you're going to come back downhill. Here comes the ball. The ball is coming at you. You're going to catch the ball. And when I say what I mean by process catching is you're going to catch the ball. It's a process. Okay, so if you tell a kid to focus on catch the ball, we've all had those transactional coaches that are saying, catch the ball, you know, you got to catch the ball. That's really not what we're focused on here at Waxahachie. We want you to focus on the process of catching the football because we feel if you focus on the process, the outcome is just a result of a process. It's a machine, right? So as you catch the ball, your eyes to the tuck. So you're going to frame the ball up, right? You're going to eyes to the tuck. So if you're focused on eyes to the tuck, you're not as much focused on actually catching the ball, which becomes part of the process. So your eye, you're, you're going to focus up, right? You're going to frame the ball up, your eyes to the tuck. Then once it's here, once you've seen it to the tuck, then you're going to start with the stiff arm. Okay, so if they're focused on that process throughout this whole drill, if they're catching the ball in the parking lot, if they're catching the ball in practice, it's process catching. 
Okay, so you're going to start with the left, you're going to go back to the right, then you're going to finish with the left, you're going to come back down here. Here comes the ball. You're going to catch it, ice the tuck, perform the stiff arm. You're going to toss that ball back at this point. Okay, so here you go. Now you're going to begin the, the comeback because I'm in here, you're coming back outside. Here you go, you're going to get to the top of the right at this point. It's going to start with the left now. Here we go. All right, excuse me, it's going to start with the right here. You're going to start the break with the right. You're going to continue the break with the left. You're going to finish the break with the right out in front of the left, chest over the knee. Chest over the knee, that's important. So you can come back downhill in a sharp and angular fashion. Catch this ball out, keep your feet in bounds, and finish the drill out. So that basically is the curl, com curl comeback drill that I like to say call the four cone. It helps our guys with both the top of the round on in-breaking and top of the round on the out-breaking. Also emphasizes the catch, the process, which is the ice, the tuck, the stiff arm, which finishes it all out. So that's just the curl comeback aspect of it.